Hi, I'm Dr. Mitesh Borad from Mayo Clinic. We'd like to welcome you to this series on questions that are important to patients who have been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. I have the pleasure of introducing you to Dr. Rahul Panala from the Department of Gastroenterology. Welcome, Rahul. So we wanted to get some idea as to what some of the common uh, symptoms at presentation are and how someone might have an idea that they should go see the doctor to, to see if they have something as serious as pancreatic cancer. Yeah, pancreatic cancer can be very hard to diagnose. Pancreatic cancer, there are approximately 47,000 people who are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in the United States every year, and the presentation can be quite varied. Um, it is, in fact, the fourth leading cause of cancer death in the United States. Uh, the most common presentations can be abdominal pain that's not going away um, and for which no other cause is found. Patients can present with jaundice or yellowing of the skin. Um, unexplained weight loss um, is, can, can also be an um, alarm factor or a trigger factor to start thinking about it. Very commonly, pancreatic cancer does not present it any symptoms until it's late, and that's why um, it can be a very difficult cancer to treat. Um, but abdominal pain, jaundice, and abnormal weight loss are the most common presenting factors. Thank you. The, the other question I'm sure that would arise would be, um, what can I do to avoid pancreatic cancer? And people may be interested in knowing are there specific risk factors to getting it? Yes, the most common risk factors for pancreatic cancer are age. P typically, it's uh, patients in the 60s or 70s who are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Obviously, we can't do much about age, but some of the modifiable risk factors, things that we can do something about are cigarette smoking, which has been shown to be an increased risk factor for pancreatic cancer. Um, chronic pancreatitis or scarring of the pancreas, which typically happens from cigarette smoking and or alcohol, can be a risk factor. Um, occasionally, pancreatic cysts, a small proportion of pancreatic cancer happens um, in the setting of pancreatic cysts, and some cysts have the potential to go on to become cancer. So if there is a pancreatic cyst, we typically um, follow these um, patients and follow these cysts to, to make sure that they're not turning into cancer. Mm -hmm. Are there any genetic factors uh, that play a role in, in the uh, pancreatic cancer? There are several genetic aspects that can play a role in pancreatic cancer. A small proportion of pancreatic cancer happens in certain genetic syndromes. For one of the examples of that is hereditary pancreatitis or Peutz-Jäger syndrome, but these are quite rare. Uh, there may be some genetic um, influence because if you have um, a first degree relative who has pancreatic cancer, your risk is slightly higher than that of the average population. But the overall risk from, while there are genetic components to every cancer, and that's true for pancreatic cancer, Overall risk, if you have one family member diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, uh, the overall risk to you should be quite small. Um, there are certain families which have uh, two or three um, individuals with pancreatic cancer, and they can be, they typically form familial pancreatic cancer and can be screened. A lot of cancers have been uh, linked with um, excess weight or obesity and also conditions like diabetes, um, given that the pancreas uh, regulates um, the, the normal processing of glucose, it seems like this may be uh, something to, to provide insight on. Could you give us some insights as, as to the relationship between diabetes and pancreatic cancer? Yeah, no, that's a, a great question. Um, diabetes and pancreatic cancer have a very strong relationship, as you can expect. But it has been hard to figure out um, exactly what the true relationship is. Our best understanding um, is that long-standing diabetes, if you have your uh, regular type 2 diabetes for a long time, it's a slightly, it puts you at a slightly higher risk for pancreatic cancer. What's interesting and what's, what's really novel, what uh, has come to light uh, more recently, is that 
new onset diabetes. So sudden development of diabetes in the past year or two um, can be a indicator of pancreatic cancer. And uh, the, the science seems to suggest that the cancer may produce um, some substance which makes us more susceptible to uh, diabetes. So if you're able to distinguish this new diabetes from the diabetes that happens, um, this may give us an opportunity to detect pancreatic cancer early. Um, an associated feature with that would be weight loss mm -hmm. um, associated with diabetes. Uh, most patients do lose weight when they get diagnosed with diabetes, but the extent of weight loss may be an indicator. It would be ideal to have a blood test to try to differentiate those two types of diabetes, and there are several researchers at Mayo who are actively working on uh, developing such a blood test. Well, it sounds like hopefully one day we'll have a test for early detection, and, and that would obviously be wonderful. Uh, thank you, Raul, for sharing your insights and, and for such an informative discussion today. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it, and I hope you have as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.